Hello everyone. You can see this form. Uh, in this session, we are going to learn about how to apply filters on a form, continuous form. Now, this continuous form is displaying the products, product ID, description, quantity, category and brand. Now, we want to apply filters that, okay, if we want to have uh, the products by only HP brand, then this form should display only HP brand records or any other brand. So what we will do here you can see filter brands filter category we have made I have made a filter on the category as well so now I will select any any brand HP now it is showing only the products by brand HP click clear filter filter category computers or printers so we have laser jet printers category based printer only we have one product now I will show you what is running behind the scenes how this filter these filters are being applied layer filter now to give you an idea these all records are coming from a query I will show you what is the record source of this form click on property sheet data it is taking data from query products now we'll have a look at the query products how this query is being designed a product brand and category tables are being added but remember one thing there is no filter on any other field so this query is taking data from or records from all these three tables I will show a SQL view as well so all the fields from all the tables product table and then brand table brand ID brand name then category category ID and category name from category inner join on the brand and product in a join on category and product so this is a simple query now what we have done the first step is I have copied this uh, query of uh, query products and named it as query QRY filter brand the next step is we have created a combo box <coughs> I'm sorry Okay, I'll show you the property of this combo box. This combo box is selecting uh, the row sources from brand table. Select brand, brand ID, brand name from brand, order by brand name. So, alphabetical orders, it will appear. Format is column count 2. For the ID, we have hidden the ID because a normal user, common user, just want to see the brand name itself. The name of this filter is uh, the combo box is CMB filter brand you can name it as you wish so remember this thing CMB filter brand now I will open this query and show you how we are passing the value of this combo box to this query open this query in design mode now you can see here I have put a filter on brand ID the filter the criteria is here forms FRM product CMB filter brand so whatever value you are selecting in the CMB filter brand on product form this form so that value based on the, that value this query will be selecting the records from product table and then link with brand and category SQL view so now is the same query up to this part this is the same query as we have seen in QR web products but where clause is there where brand id equals to form frm product cmp filter brand now what is the relation how this query will be run we'll come to this combo box design go to property sheet now this combo box will go to event on click there is a procedure what is the procedure click on this button now you can see as soon as you select any brand from this combo box once it is clicked then forms frm product dot record source now we are changing the record source of the frm product form to query filter brand query filter brand this query so the sequential steps will be now i will run this form now i'll select hp as soon as i click this one what happens 
it causes an event occurs the, on the click event we are setting the this form record source equal to qry filter brand and qry filter brand is taking the value of this combo box and then it is showing records here same procedure we have done for this category also the name is cmb filter cat we have created a query qry filter cat i will open in design view now you can see the difference in between qry filter brand and qry filter cat what is the difference that now i have put the filter on the category id forms f and product cmb filter cat so whichever value you select in the filter category that value will be passed to this query and the next step this click event I'll show you click event here is a procedure what is the procedure now now frm product dot record source will be qry filter cat again I will show you filter category let's say computers so only the products belonging to category computers is shown printers printers are being shown to clear now the filter is applied on the category we want to clear it so click clear filter how now this button how this button is working now again there is an event on click event procedure is there what it does now forms frm product dot record source qry products and if you remember first time i have shown you qry products at the start of session qry products is basically selecting all the records from brand category and product table without any filter so in this session you have learned how to apply a filter and moreover how to pass a value from a control which is placed on the form to a query if you want to pass any other uh, value to a query you can even put the text uh, text box or any other control name as well so whatever value will be there that will be passed to that query i'll again show you by default this product record source is set to qry products all the records are being displayed select brand id design so this is a brand by brand clear filter select category this is my category i hope everything was clear so let me know if you have any questions or queries or any comments and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks a lot have a nice day